Hey guys, today we're going to be making a caramel frappuccino. I know you've seen the recipes on Pinterest or somewhere else around on the internet, but here I'm going to be trying one for you guys on camera. So for this recipe, actually I combined about three or four of them. Some of them said things that were so similar, so I just put together what I thought would be best and we'll see in the end how it worked out. But for this recipe, I'm going to be using two cups of cold ice, going to be having one cup of strong brewed coffee, one cup of milk or cream, I'm going to be using milk, um, some caramel sauce, about one third of a cup, and three teaspoons of white sugar. So to do this, I'm going to be making it in my magic bullet. So it says to put the ice in, approximately two cups. And that pretty much fills the entire magic bullet. So let's hope that it gets crushed pretty easily. We put in the ice, the coffee, milk, and a bit of the caramel sauce and sugar. So pretty much everything. So here I'm going to pour in the coffee. And it's at this awkward point that I realize not much more is going to fit in this. So when they say blender, they might actually mean use a real blender and not just a magic bullet. So I'm going to take out a few of the ice cubes and a bit of the coffee. One moment. So there we took out a bit of the ice cubes and the coffee to make a bit more room. And I'm going to be putting some of the milk in. They said one cup. Obviously I'm not going to fit one cup, but I also lowered the amount of coffee. So probably less. You know what? YOLO wing it. I'm just going to pour some in. If it tastes good, then I'll shoot myself for not remembering or measuring. This lighting is so bright. I never get this bright of lighting. Sorry guys, you just gotta like it sometimes. So let's blend this up and see what happens. Straw to stir it with. Make a mess if you're like me. Not bad. It's more coffee than caramel. I have an idea. Fancy drink places do that. Line the cup with it. Yeah. Then to make it like a real frap. And honestly, for this quick of time at my own house, I don't think that looks too bad. And it tastes pretty good. For next time, if I had any more tips, I would say a little bit more milk, maybe actually use half and half cream instead to make it a bit richer, and a little less coffee to milk ratio. Other than that, the caramel sweetened it up so much, and it is very good. Just a quick reminder before I disappear off your screen forever, for this, all we used was ice, strong coffee, milk, a little bit of sugar, all mixed together, and then on top, just some whipped cream and caramel syrup for a caramel frappuccino.